Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use a router bowl bit to make a whole bunch of projects. Check it. For this first one, I'm gonna use this piece of walnut from my friends at KenCraft. We're gonna chop it up over at the miter saw, glue it up, we're gonna double the thickness and double the width. So now that each half is glued up, I'm going to joint one side on each one so we can glue them together. Now that our walnut blank is all dried up and ready to go, it is time to make the template that we can use for our router. I have a piece of half inch plywood here and I have a printout of the dish. We're going to do this in two parts. Normally you would drill a hole and use a jigsaw to cut that out. I'm gonna do it over on the bandsaw and I'm gonna do it in two halves. And the reason I'm doing it in two halves is I have a lot more control over at the bandsaw and that's all I could fit on a regular sheet of paper. So I'm gonna use the straight edge of the board with the straight edge of the paper that I just cut and then use some spray adhesive to attach it on there like so. My bandsaw is a little small and I can't make this cut, but since this piece is already cut, I can draw that mark on the back. So now I'm going to sand that nice and clean using the spindle sander. Our template is all ready to go. Our blank is ready to go. I'm just gonna use some double-sided tape. I got this huge roll off of Amazon. This stuff was kind of expensive, but it's lasted me years. I already got that first side attached. We're just gonna butt up against it. Now we're gonna take this over to the drill press and remove most of the waste there instead of using the router. It's a lot easier and a lot safer. In my router, I have what is called a router bowl bit that leaves a nice rounded corner in the bottom of your bowl or tray. And it's got a bearing on here that's going to ride along our template. And I made a larger base out of acrylic to give it more reference area. What? Huh? take this over to the bandsaw, cut out the outside, and then over to the router table to round over all the edges. Now we're gonna make some desktop organizers out of this piece of mahogany. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it down to size. All right, draw my template here. I'm gonna cut these out with the jigsaw and then use that as my router template to make the dish for these desktop organizers. I just have some foam insulation underneath so I can do this right on top of my workbench. It's a great tip that I learned from Woodsmith Shop. All right, we got our template roughed out. We're gonna take this over to the spindle sander and clean it up. Got our piece mounted in the vise. And once again, we're just going to route that out. That bearing is gonna follow along the top of the template here. And this does make a mess. So we need to protect ourselves before we wreck ourselves. We're gonna take this small router bit, mount it in the router table, and then route a groove for pencils and pens. <laughs> Do 
We have a roundover bit mounted in the rounder, and we're going to give this guy a little bit of class. For this round bowl, I'm gonna use a piece of maple for the base, and then I want a wenge top. And to conserve some of this beautiful wenge, we're going to cut segmented pieces out and then glue them on there. And that'll make some efficient use out of this small board that I have. So we decided we want eight segments. So that's gonna be a 22 and a half degree cut. We tested this out with some scrap plywood. So now we're gonna take this over to the table saw and make some segmented pieces. So now we're going to glue these in halves. Then when the glue dries, we can sand the face of these flush and then they'll go together perfectly. And that will eliminate any air that we had in our angle. I don't have to tape these joints super tight because once we get these together, they're going to be glued face to face on this other board. Now we sanded them so it's got a nice clean edge and they'll meet up perfect. So now these segmented rings are dry. I need to sand the face of them flush so it glues down properly. I got some adhesive back sandpaper. I'm just gonna throw on the bench. All right, so now that these guys are sanded flat, I'm just going to glue them in place. There we go, as my buddy Bob Cleggett would say. Once again, I made a template just like I made the previous templates by cheating. Draw our outside circle. This one, we're not going to cut a circle. We're going to leave the octagon shape and go cut that out over on the bench. So now it's time to sand these guys to make the process a little bit easier on the inside here. I got the sanding attachment for my drill. You gotta make sure it's tight in there. Squarespace templates makes creating a powerful online identity even easier. Each template is a starting point for a wide range of projects, whether you're pursuing your side hustle or promoting your main gig. As some of you know, I was a web developer for 10 years, and if you're asking yourself why would a web developer move their site to Squarespace, that's because I got fed up with updates, servers being down, servers being slow, and all the hassles that are involved in maintaining and running a website. Squarespace eliminates all of that. I'm able to sell digital files and physical items. I am so excited about my brand new website because it's so easy to use and it's easy to update and it looks fantastic. So start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash make something and get 10% off your first purchase. All right. Mm. There it is. That was fun. Also super messy. I'll have links to the two router bowl bits that I use down in the description. One thing that I didn't use that you might want to consider is a collet extension for your router. So the bit goes in there and then this goes into your router so you can do really deep bowls. But I did not need it for this project. All of this wood comes from my friends at KenCraft. You can visit them at KenCraftCompany.com. They do sell online and they got a beautiful selection of exotics and domestics. That is it, folks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next week with a new project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. <laughs>